Linus Tech Tips coverage of CES 2015 is brought to you by Phantom Glass. Visit store.phantom.glass for the best darn screen protectors out there, as well as HyperX. It's been an interesting year for LG monitors. We went from basically not really covering anything from them at all to this year they got like ultra wide this and IPS that and curved whatever. It's been absolutely crazy and they're not stopping now. This one is going to be extremely exciting for gamers. It's very similar to some of the ultra wides we've seen before. So it's got a 34 inch diagonal size and it's got a 2560 by 1080 resolution. But the killer app here is not going to be the IPS panel, it's not going to be, you know, it's got a stand or whatever, nice slim bezel, very similar to the ones we've seen in the past. The killer app here is AMD's FreeSync technology support. So this is a new standard that AMD worked with VESA, worked with scalar manufacturers, worked with panel manufacturers to try to get integrated, and it is for gamers. It's kind of like NVIDIA's G-Sync in that the video card tells the monitor when to refresh. Instead of the monitor refreshing at a fixed 60 hertz, which is what this panel is going to do, and then just doing that all the time, which causes screen tearing, with the alternate being V-Sync on, which causes stutters whenever your frame rate drops below your V-Sync frame rate, but below your refresh rate. So right here is what looks like it's going to be the ultra-wide for gamers. And this is interesting. LG in the past didn't really take the whole gaming monitor thing that seriously, but I've never seen them actually quote the input lag on a monitor right next to the monitor before. So I'm really excited to try this one out because especially with an IPS model, that's not something you typically see. But it's not just about gaming. LG's got some other pretty interesting stuff here. This is a 19 by 10 aspect ratio 4K monitor meant for creative professionals. Now when I say 4K, a lot of the time I'm actually being a little bit sloppy with my terminology because UHD 3840 by 2160 is not technically the same thing as 4K, which is actually 4096 by 2160. So this guy right here is a 31 inch monitor monitor that has full coverage of 99.5% of the Adobe RGB color space, comes pre-calibrated and looks absolutely stunning and beautiful. It could be a very interesting in-between for very high-end consumers who don't quite want a 21 by 9 ultra wide, want an absolutely gorgeous professional grade monitor, but do want a little bit more width than a 16 by 9. I know we have one of these coming so you can expect a full review sometime in the next couple of months, but in the meantime, I'm just happy to have had a chance to, uh, to get a look at this bad boy. In terms of inputs, we've got, I believe it's three USB 3.0 ports. We've got DisplayPort, Mini DisplayPort, and dual HDMI in, and uh, man, that looks beautiful. IPS panel, of course. Shifting over just a little bit, we've got the 34UC87M. They're calling this a business model, but honestly, a lot of times, I must just be an incredibly boring person because the business model <laughs> often appeals to me more than the consumer model. Now, I on my desk right now, I have a 34UC97, which is actually right next to it in the more consumer grade one. And the main difference here is not actually the panel technology. It's not the super slim bezel. It's not the curve of the 34 inch 3440 by 1440 screen, but it is the stand design. This one, height adjustable stand. Now, for a flat monitor, it's important to have a height adjustable stand for ergonomics. For a curved monitor, in my mind, it is essential to have the monitor at exactly the right height because as soon as you start looking at it from above or from below, you lose any benefit of the natural appearance of a curved display because it's gonna to start to look kind of weird and distorted. You wanna be looking at it straight on. So. I, from what I can tell, they're not giving me any price quotes, but sort of the speculation is that pricing should be fairly similar to the UC97, and this is the one that I would personally be all over if I was looking for a 34-inch curved monitor. Speaking of being all over things, I am all over telling you guys about our sponsors here for the show. So first up is Phantom Glass. They make these awesome Gorilla Glass screen protectors that are super resistant to scratching. They feel just like your existing screen protector and they are extremely clear, just like the glass that's already on your phone. You can check those out over at store.phantom.glass. And a huge shout out to HyperX. You can find a link to their YouTube channel with a bunch of great gaming content down in the video description as well as a link to Phantom Glass. Thanks to both of those guys for allowing us to be here.